welcome to the show sharmila ji uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to speak to you today uh, my first question to you is there was a time when kashmir was one among the most favorite locations for shooting movies for bollywood you especially put kashmir's landscape and the idea of kashmiri beauty in the hearts and minds of uh, indians with your movie kashmir ki kali so please share with us how it felt to be cast as uh, kashmir ki kali and any interesting anecdotes about the shooting of the famous song tareef karun kya uski well thank you thank you for uh, inviting me to your show uh, you know it's been i mean kashmir is so beautiful and of course i was very very young at that time i was i think uh, 17ish when i worked in kashmir ki kali and that was my first film and uh, we shot it in kashmir and my first days shooting was in the in the dal lake and uh, it was uh, diwana hua badal which is a beautiful song so i was sort of rowing a shikara and shammi ji and you know the interaction between us so it was really really beautiful and what really made it very special was that asha bosle was there with uh, the composer uh, also and uh, so you know when i gave my first shot and came up she hugged me and she wished me all the best and she said such kind things to me and she was so senior and i was just nothing you know like nobody knew me and uh, so it was very special uh, the encouraging words of asha posle we i shot many films there actually i shot amne samne i shot uh, kashmir ki gali then i shot uh, mausam there and no comparison to kashmir in the world i think it's the it's very pristine and very close to nature and i think that that is what makes it so special because there is nothing that disturbs your vision unfortunately with the disruption in kashmir in the last 30 years bollywood has shot only very few movies in the valley do you think it's time for bollywood to return to kashmir uh, with enthusiasm and reinvent it for the nation bring out the charm of its landscape and people the way you described it you know um there has been a fair amount of films i mean of course the demand of the script you know the uh, one reason bollywood doesn't shoot there is because not uh, only because of kashmir uh, you know sort of uh, uh, the disruption that you referred to but it's also people you know there's people everywhere you know if they want to do a romantic song you know they have to avoid all that and also the bureaucratic you know getting permission here i mean they would give the permission then they would cancel the permission you know what happened with hyder so you know people get a little scared about that so they find it easier to go to switzerland but uh, having said that lot of films have been shot there you know facilities and uh, the roads you know so they can there are a lot of places you cannot go to because there's uh, uh, some kind of uh, bar or something so i think uh, uh, producers because this invest so much money in the film they get a little scared about all this so if you make it uh, comfortable and convenient for them i'm sure because as i said there is no other location like kashmir uh, if there was a compelling role or script and movie uh, would you like to go to kashmir for shooting again I mean, why would I need a compelling role to go to Kashmir? I'll go to Kashmir to visit Kashmir, you know. <laughs> like I went uh, two years ago, and it was beautiful. We went to Pahalgam and we went to. Which is your Which is your most favorite movie scene or movie song that you shot in Kashmir? Well, Kashmir ki Kali is a uh, is a uh, you know sort of has its nostalgic moments, and every song, as you know. like divana hua badal being my first film song where i was so nervous about lip sync and uh, you know it was a, a very difficult experience for me yeah, because in bengal we don't do too much singing so um, so definitely divana hua badal would be one of my favorites and also 
पलकों के पीछे से that's beautiful you know, that that is also very beautiful and amne samne we did uh, water skiing shashi and i in the dal lake mm mm-hmm. so that was also i mean that lake was so uh, there was so much used to happen on that lake yeah. you know shikaras of course and then this water skiing and now this time when i went i was saddened to see that it's the water has shrunk and but there were a lot of f was being made to clear the dal lake but i hope somebody really makes an effort and cleans it because it was a thing of beauty and all the lakes and one of the char chinar mein there is one chinar has died yeah. so that also saddened me so a little bit of uh, uh, you know to maintain what it was mm-hmm. in the 60s it would be lovely to see make somebody making an effort to you know replant trees and but yet it's so lovely because all the houses look the same well on that beautiful note uh, i will uh, say thank you once again for your time and despite the fact that you are unwell you gave us time to do this interview no this is very special and thank you for and i'm really sorry but i have been slightly under the weather but uh, uh, talking about kashmir has made me feel well <laughs> <laughs> wonderful that's a wonderful yes. thing to say